All right, let's get to fishing. All right, guys, setup today is I'll be using this uh, Shimano Sierra 500 size reel. It's 500, but the Birds of Prey um, knocker jig. This is a uh, night shadow, I believe the color is. Bit of the crab. This is eight pound braid. I'm actually using a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader as well. And it's a freezing morning. Woke up 32 degrees or 33 degrees outside. Me and Sean are trying a new spot. Oh damn. Oh, it's warm in here too. Wow. If I hear any chanting, I'm out. It is so warm in here. Oh yeah, I don't care if we catch it. We can just stay right here. Yeah, I'm about to take my... Uh, oh, we can get out right there too, if we need to. Alright guys, we switched locations. and We're in this amazing looking aquarium place. Just the way the light comes in here. You see all these fish in here? It's pretty, pretty epic. Um, how deep are you, uh, Mark and Chunk? Uh, hold on, let me move out from the wall, or the door. Uh, 20. That's not bad. This place is just crazy. God, it feels so good in here. Oh, it goes mullet. Holy crap, those are some big old mullet. Look at those guys. You see them? Yeah. Big old horse mullet. Fish on. Look at them down there swimming. Big old pinfish. Sean, look at this pinfish. Hold on. Look at this. That's a pinfish. What is it? Pinfish. Oh. Freaking oh, huge. Probably one of the biggest pinfish. I, not one of them. I caught one big one offshore, but dang sure it's good. I think I see a big black drum. Oh, that's a big sheephead. Holy crap. Am I recording? Yes. Big old sheephead. Oh my gosh. Eat it, please. Oh, he went away. I don't know if you guys saw him on camera, guys, but holy crap, it was a big one. Oh my gosh. Look at him, sheephead. There's that school again. This place is so awesome. Like probably one of the coolest places I ever fished. All right guys, we're trying a new spot. The other spot was very slow. Saw a lot of fish, but we couldn't make it happen. So we bitched it out farther in. Uh, <clears throat> farther in Pensacola Bay. Use a fill of crabs. Birds of prey jig head. That's 10 pound fluorocarbon. One fiddler here. One filler on top to hide that hook. And this is what I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a drop and see if we can get on one. I got Sean Logs behind me. He ain't caught nothing besides a couple white trout. I caught a big pin fish and a couple white trout. Nah, big sheep. Real big sheep. Holy crap, this guy's huge. You can net him? I got him. I, forget, I gotta remember. 
I got 15 pound, I mean 10 pound floor called a liter. This is a stud. Please say I'm recording. Okay. Spent all day trying to get this. This guy's a good one. Oh, he ain't that good, but he's good. Look at this guy. Ah, let's go, baby! Finally, guys. Finally. Over 20. He's probably right at it. Beautiful sheep head. I'm using the Night Shadow uh, Birds of Prey jig head. Finally, uh, finally caught one today, man. It's been a struggle. We tried another spot, but this spot seemed like it's starting to pick up. That tides are moving, starting to move. So we're starting to get on some fish now. Hopefully, using these eagle eagle grip pliers work great for these sheep head. We'll keep my net right there. And there she is, guys. Beautiful Pensacola sheep and man, I love this time of year getting on these fish. And yes, I'm gonna keep fish. I may do a catch and cook. Um, if I wanna catch one fish, I probably will do a catch and cook. But this beautiful sheep bed, man, happy to catch one, happy to get on it. Now I'm gonna use this Rogue Endeavors stringer, get them in there. Pop that guy out. Keep this guy alive. Probably go catch some more. Oh, you don't like that bee, buddy. I know. Let's hope I don't get sharked. Cause that would that would be bad. Guys, it's rough time out there today. Slow, slow bite. We've seen plenty of fish. Um, I'm trolling on the way in. I'm not expecting to catch anything. It's kind of shallow here, but you never know. Bull red could be running through here. Sometimes they do. But as that, as I was saying, slow bite. End up catching one nice, nice keeper sheep head. Uh, lost one. It was a grind all day, but I think I'm about doing a little catch and cook. I haven't had sheep head sashimi in a long time. I think I'm gonna press him up. He's still alive, so when I start packing up, I'm gonna go ahead and bleed him, get a bag of ice. Put on ice, bleed him for a while, clean him up. Don't make surprise. Best uh, sashimi sheep head. Delicious. Get some sushi rice and some fresh wasabi. Let's make it happen. All right, guys, welcome back in the kitchen. We're gonna start off by making our sushi rice. Start off with two cups of rice. Measure them out with a measuring cup, put them in the rice cooker. Then we're gonna come over to the sink and we're gonna rinse our rice out until we get all that cloudy water out of it. So we'll keep on rinsing and rinsing until the water runs clear. After you get done rinsing it and the water starts running clear like this, we're gonna drain all the water out, <clears throat> drain all the water out, and let it rest and dry for 15 minutes. All right, we have let our rice dry for 15 minutes. We got two cups of sushi rice. We want about three cups of water. I want a little less because we're gonna add some vinegar and sugar to it to moisture it up, keep it moist. <clears throat> Once you do that, click the rice cooker for on. Put the top on and let it sit. For our mixture for our sushi rice, we have a rice vinegar. We're gonna do a quarter cup of that. Right to the top, I'm gonna be very careful not to spill none. What I did, let's put just a little bit of it. I'm trying to record and do one hand. Then we're gonna do, excuse me. Then we're gonna do one, one tablespoon of white sugar. One tablespoon. Then we're gonna do a little bit of salt. So we have a mixture, we're just gonna mix it up. We're gonna sprinkle this on the rice when we're done, when it cools down. All right guys, now that we have our sushi rice, Bowl. I mean, in a clear, uh, a clear pan, and be very sticky. Mm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smear it out like so. I'm gonna go ahead and cool it off too pretty good because you don't want it to get mushy. That's what they say. And we're gonna take our mixture we made earlier. And we'll get this all on the rice. You kinda wanna fan that on, so you just <clears throat> pour it over the spatula. Get all our fixings ready. Our fish, our crab, our avocado, cucumber, cream cheese. Pet ready. We'll make some sushi rolls, some nagiri, and look how first white this meat is. We let a fish I actually kept it on ice for two days, so that meat firmed up quite a bit. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cut it in long strips, I'm make it long enough to fit in the sushi roll, just like this. I'm using my sword fillet knife. If you're interested in these knives, <clears throat> I will put a link down in the description, you can check them out. All right, we got a nori, so it's also known as seaweed. We'll place it down on the uh, bamboo wrap, which is wrapped in swain wrap to make it easier. <clears throat> we take our rice. What we're gonna do is gonna just smash it on here. It's pretty much all the way on the uh, seaweed paper. All right, guys. Now we're going to the simple roll, roll. We got our sushi rice on here. Got the little tiny gap right here for <clears throat> to make a stick all together. First thing we're going to do is grab a piece of, uh, of cucumber. Then we'll grab one nice piece of fresh sea pit. Put that down. Then we'll grab some avocado. my hands off. Now what you want to do is take this wrap and um, this is for you. I'm going to take this wrap and I'm going to fold it over like this and you want to take that seaweed and you want to grab it, tuck it in and pinch it in with the wrap. Use the bamboo to your advantage. And keep on rolling. And keep Make sure you pull this out when you do it. Just keep on rolling. Sometimes your ingredients like to squish out. Take this, bring it down, and, and voila. And there's your sushi roll. <clears throat> you wanna get you a very sharp knife. That's why I have my sword knife, very sharp knife. So first thing we do is cut it down the middle. There it goes, cut in the middle. I'm gonna take this, cut it down the middle one more time. And cut it one more time. Take your time when you're cutting these. And cut this one too. Now I'm gonna get a plate and plate these bad boys up. 
And this is what it looks like from the inside. There's your fish, your avocado, and, zucchini, and your uh, cucumber. Next one I'm gonna do is nag uh, nagiri. So it's pretty much just rice with uh, raw fish on top. So you just grab your rice. And you just kinda wanna mend it to the to preferred shape, which is the, fish, the shape of the fish. Is that even on here? Okay, so you can tell. Just something like that. Take your pinky, dab a wasabi, grab your fish, place it on top. Then you shape it to the fish. It turns out something like that. There it is. This is um, sheephead sushi. This is sashimi because it's raw fish as well and nogiri. Don't have chopsticks. Oh, I got two um, big old uh, skewers we're gonna use. So first thing I'm gonna do is gonna try it. And I can't. These are not as good. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna try it just like this first. I'm not even gonna dip it in the soy sauce. That is really good. Fresh. I did good on the rice. Now if you have any questions about this, I make plenty of YouTube videos on how to make sushi rice or how to roast sushi. It's fairly easy. So easy I can do it. So if I can do it, you can do it. I cooked raw fish before. Once the sheep head is delicious, I did it with Spanish mackerel and I did it with pompano. And this this is the type of my favorite. It's called nigiri. This is a little bit of soy sauce. Ooh, it's happy. Mm. Wasabi shake. I love wasabi too. I hate hot food, but I love wasabi. And this is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Later. Let me use my hands.